The time was late afternoon, July 2nd, 1863, the second day of the Battle of Gettysburg. Barksdale's Confederates from Mississippi were impatient. They had marched and countermarched all morning to arrive at this position. Now, within hearing of the fighting on Little Round Top, they were ordered, in place, rest. Here, they bravely stood under fire of a Union battery that was shelling them from the peach orchard not a quarter of a mile to their front. While they waited, the fighting surged through Devil's Den and the wheat field. After two hours of heavy attack and counterattacks, there were still no real Confederate gains. Let the 1,500 Mississippians go in, they thought, and the war just might be ended within the hour. At five o'clock, the Confederate supporting artillery ceased firing. Orders were shouted and quickly passed down the lines of the gray-clad Mississippi troops. With the imposing figure of General William Barksdale riding before them, they whooped the rebel yell and double-quicked toward the Emmitsburg Road and the red barn in front of you. Fences melted before them. Northern skirmishers were driven back. An eyewitness later described the entire scene as the most magnificent charge I witnessed during the war. Across the Emmitsburg Road and through the Peach Orchard they charged. The Union line at the Peach Orchard was broken. Union regiments, fragmented, retired, then ran before the Mississippians. A thousand prisoners were taken. Among them was the Union general against whose troops Barksdale's attack was aimed. The Mississippians pursued the Union troops from the orchard and across the Trossel farm, with Barksdale at the front of his men all the time calling, Forward, men, forward. An entire Union company was ordered to bring down the towering Mississippian who led his seemingly unstoppable troops. Finally, a few yards from the reformed Union line, Barksdale fell, mortally wounded. The Confederate attack faltered. Their momentum gone, the lines ragged from advancing so quickly, their leader down, the Mississippians halted, then recoiled before a solid line of Union reserves. They made their way back to their lines, leaving Barksdale and over 700 other Mississippians on the bloody fields. Mississippi's gallant fighting on the second day at Gettysburg was ended.